This is your uh, virtual navigation overview of practice score. I've made a whole bunch of videos so you can work on the details of what it is to be a match director and setting it up on the computer, tablets and devices. But I'm just gonna point out some of the uh, buttons and tabs and all that sort of stuff. So uh, watch carefully and think fast. So you've been signed up and you got yourself a job as a match director and that's when this tab's gonna show up being a match director. So let's click that tab. And it takes you to the matches that you've been set up for. So let's take a look at uh, one that I've got now. Let's just go uh, view it. And there's the standard uh, uh, dashboard for your particular match that you've got set up and you can add all the information uh, as necessary. I'm gonna hit the back button here. And you can of course uh, go ahead and edit the uh, particular site. So you're all set there. Let's go in and look at the details here on the dashboard. Uh, we're going to skip down here to uh, uh, your particular uh, match that you're working on. Uh, when you click on the text here, you will see the uh, specific match. We've also got an edit button and you can also trash it. Let's just click on uh, this text here and see what it looks like. And this is what typically your people registering for the match are going to be seeing the registration page. So uh, we've discussed this. You can uh, modify the uh, registration page and we'll take a look at it a little bit later. And then you get everybody registered, you're all set. Uh, this is also the place where you as the match director are going to load stages, clicking the stage button. And you can see we've got uh, several stages set up for this specific match. Uh, no stages until you upload them. Let's take a look at something else. When you have to manage things, uh, you might have to go to this aspect of uh, practice score. So uh, I'm going to click on this blue tab that freezes the drop down menu underneath. Click on match dashboard. And this is very helpful because you can look at it uh, and get an overview telling you currently uh, this is Friday night before the Saturday match. You've got 26 approved shooters and you can see the ratio of uh, range officers to uh, non-range officers, make sure that you've got enough per squad. So our club has a rule of two per squad, so that sort of dictates how many squads you're gonna have, and you go from there. Okay, back down here, let's uh, approve and view uh, shooters. Here you got a list of uh, all the shooters, you're all set. Just scrolling down, you can see that they're all approved. Uh, Except we got one here who's not assigned to a squad. You might have to do something uh, either before or at the match registration. Also, I want to point out over here, I've explained how you can email all the shooters that are registered. So by uh, clicking on that, uh, when they registered, they put in their email address. So it makes it very handy, uh, particularly if you have an issue, say, of inclement weather uh, in the spring in Texas. Uh, we often have to be concerned with uh, getting rain down on Saturday or Sunday. So it's kind of nice to tell everybody the night before the match is going to happen or it's not, et cetera, et cetera, keeping people informed. So let's look at something else. Let's go down here to import shooters. And good to know, I don't do anything with this. But let's look at the manage squatting. On the previous screen, I was showing you how you could email everybody that's registered. But if for whatever reason, you might want to uh, do something about who's on what squad before the match starts or to uh, send an email to everybody in the squad, clicking on this uh, email in that squad, you can do that. Also, I showed you in another video how you can print a piece of paper showing everybody's name that is currently registered and having a piece of paper to manage and do the administrative stuff uh, before or just before the match starts. You might want to print a piece of paper and you can do that here. Let's back up, look at something else. Look at the edit schedule slash squads. Uh, if all of a sudden you uh, have a situation where you're going to have a uh, 
less than the usual number or greater than the usual number, you might want to go in here and add and change and adjust as necessary. When I took over as a uh, range officer, uh, we were about halfway through the calendar year. We make up a new schedule for 12 months in advance. Uh, you may want to go in uh, whenever you take over and uh, modify your registration form. I've got a whole video on this registration form here, changing the divisions and information that's uh, posted there regarding membership and so forth. So take a look at uh, considering and changing how you may uh, do your registration. This is very important here, the practice score PIN number. I've got a separate video on that, and this is where you get all this information, all the registered shooters and the match stages and so forth, and download it to your, uh, what I call primary uh, device here that you're going to do the final uh, cut and paste and uh, adding and deleting shooters that uh, did or did not show up for the match, uh, adjusting it for penalties and maybe bonus points and so forth. But this is unique uh, match pin number, and it's only good for this specific match. Get a unique pin number every time you do this and then uh, the last stage if you're a brand new match director you may find this uh, useful is to take one of your uh, current matches that you're uh, taking over for and clone it and re and set up a uh, virtual match that way you can uh, test all the various things change things around uh, get people to volunteer to sign up and register to shoot and so forth like that i found it bottom line uh, probably the best thing i did besides all the personal coaching that i got from a couple of people at our club but by creating my own match and then modifying it and getting people to shoot and had a virtual shoot and use the tablets uh, just like we did uh, in a regular match everything worked out fine it really reinforced the uh, the effort Effort that I was doing and so forth. So anyway, this is just a quick overview uh, showing what you can do as far as uh, managing uh, your business and uh, making it successful and et cetera, et cetera. So thanks for watching.